Hey guys, how's it going? This is Hector from the Internet Entrepreneur Connection blog. And in this video, I want to show you how to uh, increase the file size uh, limit that you have on your Bluehost uh, uh, domain. So basically, I have this make money with silver. Uh, dot com domain that I just purchased uh, from Bluehost not too long ago and uh, what I was trying to do is I was trying to install the latest version of Optimized Press which for those of you who are familiar with Optimized Press just released their um, Optimized Press 2.0 which is the second version um, of Optimized Press uh, earlier this year and so I was trying to upload it to my uh, WordPress site, but my, and this is a challenge that a lot of um, people may have, especially those who are, uh, you know, who have their hosting through bluehost.com. Um, the file size limits on that is, uh, at least on my site, was 10 meg, and I think that's the default size, the default upload file size maximum that you can upload. Um, but there's a there's a very easy way to change that to allow for greater si for bigger sizes, and so I want to show you exactly how to do that in this video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, um, basically, to to check what your file size is, is you want to uh, uh, you want to log into the back end of your WordPress site. So um, for those of you who have WordPress, basically, it's just your domain name followed by wp forward slash wp dash login. Um, and usually that brings you to this page here, which you can um, use to uh, put in your username and password to log in. So um, let's go ahead and do that. And it'll bring you, that, that'll bring you to the uh, dashboard or the back section of your uh, WordPress site. So in order to check what your file size is, you basically want to go to media and you want to go to add new. And as you can see on my site, which I just changed, I had to call Bluehost to find out how to do this. And it's very easy. Um, but um, this used to be 10 meg, the maximum upload file size used to be 10 meg, 10 meg. now it's 64 meg. Um, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that on your site um, because I'm going to try it on my Internet Entrepreneur Connection blog. That's something that I haven't done for this site. So I'm gonna, I'm going to try to do that. Um, and let's just for for purposes of this video, I'm gonna log into the back end of this site to see what the what the uh, file uh, what the upload file size max is. While that's logging in there, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and log into Bluehost. Dot, oops, Bluehost.com. Okay. Let's see here, and I'm gonna go to media, add new. Okay, so as you can see here, 10 meg is the default. Um, and if you try to upload any file sizes or any posts that may be less, or excuse me, may be greater than 10 meg, you'll basically get uh, errors all over your page, or perhaps you may get errors at the time of uploading this file. So um, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and um, uh, up the file size max. So what you'll do is you go to log, you'll go to your blue to bluehost.com. You'll log into your C panel or your control panel. And let's see here. This is a different site, so I'll have to use the Internet Entrepreneur Connection site. Internet Entrepreneur oops, Connection dot com, and then my password. Oops, login failed. Let's see here, internet entrepreneur, oh. Entrepreneurconnection.com, and then log in. All right, okay. Perfect. Okay, so now we're in the back end of our, or excuse me, we're in our C panel, our control panel for bluehost.com. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna go to our C panel. So you can uh, do that by clicking on the first box here on the left. You want to go down to um, the file management section and you want to click on file manager. Uh, you're going to get this directory selection box to pop up. You want to make sure that you are on the web route. 
and that your um, that your site, which you want to up the file size on the minimum, uh, excuse me, the maximum file size uh, upload for your for your site. Now, if you have multiple if you have multiple sites here, like I do, um, once you do it on one site, you'll you'll that that'll that default uh, upload file size will basically uh, cascade down to all of these other sites. So you only have to do it, you only have to do it once. Um, Let's see here. So you also want to click on show hidden files and then click go. Okay. So now we're here. Um, you're going to just make sure that you're on the public underscore HTML file and you want to look for the, let's see here. I believe it's the public dot INI or excuse me, not public PHP dot INI, which is right here. Oops, it's right here, php.ini, and you want to right-click on this icon. Uh, make sure that you do right-click on the icon, that's important, and then click Edit. And basically, you're going to get this text editor, just leave it as default and say Edit. Okay, once you're here, uh, just do a Control-F for uh, search, uh, or Control-S, wherever depending on what you're using and you're the first thing you're going to want to search for is upload underscore max underscore file size and as you can see it's right here and we're going to change that from 10 meg i'm going to change it to 64 meg you can change it to whatever you want um but hopefully you aren't uploading any files greater than 100 meg um Otherwise, you're you're just you're taking up a lot of space on your shared hosting uh, server. And okay, so we changed it there to to uh, 64 meg. And then the next thing you want to change is going to be your post size. Um, so this is for any post, any article post that you post on your uh, or that you uh, publish on your on your site. So you want to search for post underscore max underscore size. And as you can see here. Here's the um, the 10 meg as well. You want to change that. You can change that to whatever you want, but a good practice is to change it to uh, whatever your upload max file size was. In this case, I changed it to 64. So now that we've done those changes there, all you're going to do is save changes. And that's it. So let's verify this has taken effect. And so I'm still on this page here. I'm going to refresh this page and as you can see now we can upload file sizes greater than uh, or up to 64 megs so thanks for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to visit uh, internet entrepreneur and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel thanks and see you on the next video